What's going on Guardians? It's Ayub G with GZA Gaming bringing to you another Destiny video. Now this video is about the weekly reset and what we're looking for for the, for the week. This week's Nightfall guys is Nexus Mine in Venus and the modifiers are as follows Angry, Brawler and Grounded. So your melee will do more damage, Angry obviously meaning they're, they're more aggressive and grounded you don't want to be in air so you want to be on the ground because in air you'll take more damage pretty simple to be honest weekly strike guys with valus Tauric and it's heroic and grounded as a modifiers we don't have no burns this week so stay on the ground again and you should get through it no problem now going forward with the prison of elders so level 32 prison of elders guys we got calyx reborn for this week for level 34 we have Golrot, so just be careful of his slow motion ability and 35 skull loss as always so with Varix, the warlock is getting the Kel breakers gloves and discipline this time glad to see that it's discipline and not strength and the weapon of choice for this week is the shadow of veils now this sniper guys is a must get i would 100 percent recommend it especially for pvp although it doesn't have any good perks in terms of pvp the aim assist already on it is really good and the impact is really solid so I definitely recommend picking this up. Brother Vance this week for the Warlock, the, they're getting the Robe of Exile in 171 Discipline and it's carry more fusion rifles and pulse rifles so it's not bad I think I'll definitely pick that up. Also he's selling the Eye of Soul Sniper. Uh, not the greatest sniper to be honest, um, I mean I would pick the Shadow of Veils over Eye of Soul any day so I would recommend Shadow of Veils rather than Eye of Soul but it's up to you guys. For the Titan this week, Varix has Discipline and Strength in the Kelslayer's Grip. Brother Vant this week is giving away the Plate of the Exile in 160 Intellect so that's actually not bad and you get more shotgun ammo and hand cannon ammo so I would most definitely recommend picking this plate up. Varix this week is bringing the Kel Hunter's arm piece for the Hunter with 106 Intellect and Brother Vance this week is bringing the chest piece with also shotgun ammo and more scout rifle ammo with Intellect and Discipline. So moving on with the Queen's Bounty. Once you pick up all the bounties, you want to head over to the Cosmodrone and head to the Forgotten Shores and wait around for Drevis. Once you have killed Drevis, keep going right till you get to the Grottoes where you will find the Silent Fang. Now you're gonna need to leave the Cosmodrone after killing him because you need to do this 3 times and he only shows up once on each run. So make sure guys on your third run after killing the Silent Fang, you want to keep going through the Hive Tunnels and past the Refinery towards the Blast. Now you want to look to your left and you will find the Wolf Enforcer there and you can kill him right there. Once you're done that, you want to head to Venus. Now the easiest way to do this is to open up the Vault of Glass raid since both bounties are pretty close by so it should be a lot easier that way. Now you want to head to the left once you have gone to Venus and wait around for Orbix. Shouldn't be too hard. Once completed, head back the way you came and go through Camp 9 all the way to the Endless Steps where you will find the Aether Runner which is probably the furthest one that you gotta get to. Lastly, once that's done, you want to go up to the moon and you want to finish the mission, which is a level 28 mission, I believe, and it's probably the easiest out of all the bounties this week. That's all for this week's reset, guys. If this video helped you out in any way, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more daily Destiny content. And as always, GZAL.